What's going on guys? Spencer here with HM Massage. Today I'm going to go over a refresher for some awesome chair massage techniques. This is an older video that was done with no talking and no music. So if you want that version, the link is down below. I do want to say you don't have to have an actual massage chair to give this massage. You can also put somebody on any normal chair, wrap up a towel and place that under their forehead and they'll still be in a great position to do these techniques and get them some great body work. But let's get into the best five techniques for giving a chair massage. The first technique we're starting with is doing compressions up and down the back. We're gonna be doing these compressions along either side of the spine, and this is a great warm up move as well as an introduction to their body that we're gonna be doing some body work. You can either use the palm of your hands, your knuckles, or your fingertips, all depending on if you want to go more broad or more specific. Make sure to never press directly on the spine, but work the erector spinaeus muscle group that runs on either side of the spine, and work out laterally as well, meaning to the outer edge of the body. You also want to work the entire length of their spine. Start at the upper traps and their levator scapula, and work all the way down to the low back. And if you're gonna get into deep tissue, always start a little lighter, then work into the deep tissue, then back out towards the end. Now that we're down at the low back, we'll take it into the second technique. Make sure to work their low back, the sacrum, and their glutes and hips. The hips and glutes are often gonna be very tight and they'll be pulling on the low back. So it's very important to work those as well. Use your knuckles or even your forearms if you wanna get deeper and compress all along the sides and then work into the ligament attachments at the sacrum. Once again, never press too hard on any of the actual bones, the sacrum or any of the iliac crests, but working the musculature all around this area is gonna feel great, especially for people who sit a lot. Once again, you can stack your fingers, use both knuckles at once, or even use your thumbs a little bit to get down into the low back. Just make sure not to hurt your thumbs or overwork them. As we work our way back up, we're gonna start working into massage technique number three. Work the lats, the outside border of their bodies, and make sure to get their deltoids, their shoulders. Really work all along the outside edge of their scapula, their shoulder blade. Make sure to squeeze it, lift it, and pull it away from their center line. You can also throw in some vibration to really help loosen up all the attachments and all the tight adhesions. You can then also move up and start doing some petrissage, which is a lifting squeezing motion on their shoulders and deltoid fibers. These muscles all get very tired and really tight, so working this area is going to help out the client a lot. The fourth technique, we're going to be going into their arms, their forearms, and their hands. Work outward and squeeze, lift, and rock back and forth between their biceps and triceps. You can compress with both hands or do a rolling action in your hands. And make sure that the client is relaxed during this part. A lot of people like to help by lifting their arm up, but make sure that they're letting their arm go and that you have full control over its movement. Work down to the forearms, working their extensors, the top part, and their flexors, the bottom part. Use your thumbs, fingertips, and knuckles to work deeply in between each of the lines of muscles. And then do some nice palm squeezes and palm extensions. Really open up and spread their hands. Our hands are always contracted, so this is going to bring a lot of blood flow, a lot of flexibility, and it's going to help reduce pain all throughout the arms and hands. And last but definitely not least, you always want to work their neck and head. No massage is truly finished unless you give them a head massage. So make sure to do a nice lifting and squeezing motion on their neck. You can then stand in front of them and use your fingertips to run up and down the back of their neck, working their trapezius, all of the attachments on the lateral side, Work the base of their skull right at the suboccipital ridge, and then work up into their hairline and their head. Do a lot of circular friction with your fingertips, 
you can do a lot of vibration back and forth, or you can do static holds where you simply compress with your fingertips, but don't move. Don't forget to work their ears, work their temporals, the front of their forehead, and make sure to encompass their entire head and skull so that you're not leaving any part that feels untouched. You can finally finish off with a few compressions on their upper traps, the neck, and head once more, and this is going to be an amazing way to end your massage and allow the receiver to then go throughout their day feeling much more calm, much more relaxed, and hopefully much less pain-free. Thank you for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it helped you learn something. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to the channel for new content every single week. I will see you guys on the next video, I hope you have a great rest of your day.